Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. With the beginning of the 2016 heating season here in North Carolina, we've had a plethora of failed inducer motors over the past week. Everything from bound up motors to rusted out motors to broken wheels, and the occasional mysterious hot spot on the heat exchanger. This system does, did not have the second stage of combustion or second stage of heat connected. Um, so the system has been running in first stage for who knows how long, possibly since 2007 when the system was put in. Um, so I wanted to run the system as it was before and just see where it was. Um, right now we've got 14 inches of O2, 14% of O2, and 3.9% CO2 with a CO PPM of 90. Um, that's creeping up a little bit as the system runs, but um, it's come down from where it was. First stage is running 2.2 inches of water. I went ahead and lowered the first stage gas pressure to the factory 1.8 and then I'm going to fire up second stage and see where that gas pressure is and make adjustments from there.
pressure at 3.8 inches for second stage. And my combustion numbers could be a little bit better, but they are a little more lean than what they were, or a little less lean than they were last time, or at least before this inducer motor failed. I'd like to see my CO2 a little bit higher and my O2 a little lower, but uh, we're definitely better than we were when we were only running first stage. Check out iBleedR22.com, my new HVACR forum, and my website at www.hvacwithstevenreardon.com. Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at TrueTechTools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching.